So I'm happy to announce that by consensus, the Senate leader is Senator Opeyemi Pamidele. He will be the majority leader of the Senate and the Senate leader. Senator Mohammed Ali Ndume will be the chief whip of the 10th Senate. Senator David Omahi, by your consent, will act as the deputy leader. Senator Simon Davo Nwakum, minority leader. The Senate Senator Oyeumi Olarere, Deputy Minority Leader. The Senate Senator Darlington Wokocha, Minority Whip. The Senate Senator Rufai Hanga, Deputy Minority Whip. All right, that was what happened on the floor of the Senate. But let me allow you to listen to the speaker for uh, the announcement of uh, the House uh, uh, principal officers. Honorable Julius Ehobere, APC Edo, as majority leader. Honorable Harlems Abdullahi, APC Kogi as Deputy Majority Leader. Honorable Kingsley Chinda has been nominated as the Minority Leader and he is from the party P PDP extraction. All right, then. That was in part what I, I mean transpired on the floor of the, both chambers today. But the APC leadership had come out to this own whatever that has went on today in the on the boat floors. The chairman of the APC, the national chairman, Senator Abdullah Adamu, says that the list of the principal officers for the 10th National Assembly announced today by the Senate President and the Speaker of the House is not from the party secretariat. Senator Adamu said these uh, earlier today when the party leadership met with the Progressive governor, that is, some of the governors um, of the APC, and they said, quote, had a courtesy call on Saturday from the president of the Senate and his deputy, the following which was Sunday. I received a visit by the speaker and his deputy speaker coming to me for Salah Homey. But I'm just hearing as a rumor now from the online media that there have been some announcement in the Senate and House of Reps. Interesting. I mean, one will imagine that some of these positions are, they usually, traditionally, they will call them party positions because it's the party usually who determines uh, who we might in all of this, traditionally, conventionally. But well, I have not been in the National Assembly. Let me bring someone who has a very good experience of the National Assembly, Senator Maho Abua. He joins us live here in our studio. Thanks so much, Senator, for joining us. Pleasure being here. Thank you are you laughing. This, this has happened before, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I mean, but interesting. Yes. How, I mean, we saw this happen in the Ninth Assembly with the House, where the PDP, uh, uh, so in fact, suspended some members yes. because there was another person entirely that was announced, Senator Ondidi uh, Elumelu was announced as the minority leader, yes. where the, the party leadership wanted Senator Chinda from Rivers honorable. to honorable, sorry, honorable Chinda to be the minority leader. Yes. A similar thing is happening now in the APC. What the APC said, that is not our list. We did not agree on that. What do you think could be happening? Well, first and foremost, let me use this opportunity to congratulate um, <clears throat> the leadership of the National Assembly, both at the Senate and at the uh, House of Reps. When I mean the leadership, I mean both the presiding and the principal officers together now will become the principal officers, mm -hmm. especially with the seamless way that they all uh, emerged. If you had the Senate president, he said, by consensus. And that is what actually is supposed to be for me. Consensus by the senators or by the party? By the senators. Because you, you begin to define what consensus means. No, no, listen, for in me, this sense. yes, for me today, today is a day of 
joy. I'm happy. Because, you see, as an alumni of the National Assembly and somebody who started at, at the leadership level, this is like a, a, a seed we planted since 1999, nurtured it in 2003, but today is beginning to yield fruit. Because we've talked about the independence of the National Assembly. And don't also forget why I, I'm surprised that the leadership of APC, led by a senator, is saying this. I'm surprised. Maybe he has forgotten that prior to 2023, we had specifically party leaders. When we got into the National Assembly, then there were three major parties. We had PDP, we had a piece, uh, P, uh, um, you had we had MPP, AD, CPC, AD. Uh, AD yeah. and uh, APP. APP yeah. These were the three. In, and, in, the, in, in that's uh, in the first term. In yeah. the first, 99. Yeah. And each of those parties had their party leaders, mm -hmm. which was actually where the party should make or made their nominations. Like I tell you, when we were there, I was the deputy first. I was the deputy uh, majority leader, then later deputy leader. Then APP had their uh, retinue of officers. APP leader, deputy leader, whip AD had, where is uh, Mrs. Teden was the AD whip. Yeah. But in 2023, we, try, we moved from... 2003. 2003, moved from party to National uh, Assembly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the nomenclature changed. You are no more deputy majority leader or majority leader. You are now the leader of the House or, of the, the, House Senate, or the Senate. As the case may be. Which means as the leader, your emergence should come from the membership, not purely from the party. Your party can only advise. Okay, let me give you an instance of what has just happened now. You could see the minority leader or minority leadership. You see PDP. You see uh, NNPP. NNPP, you the see Labour, yeah. because that is the makeup of the minority. Mm -hmm. It's no more uh, PDP a minority. No, 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 it's no more. It's gone beyond that. That is the mistake we've been making. Prior to now, you had party leaders. Now you are no more a party leader. You are leader of... So of the, the, of the question of the, of the is, national. So what I'm saying the for question me, is that the party yeah. sees itself yes. as the sponsor uh -huh. of these positions. Yes. The, the principal office role yes. is traditionally seen as the one uh, that has been sponsored by the, the party. Yeah. The party decides and yeah. suggests that to, was a to the national yeah, the, 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 It's a carryover of what it was then. Like I told you, when each party when you are now representing the party, now as a, as a senior leader, you're a leader of the entire membership of the party. Before, you must wait for your party leader to direct you, your party whip to whip you in line. But now we have only two. You have the leader, mm -hmm. then you have the minority, minority leader. leader. All the parties Come on, within, the, within the minority come under one umbrella, which is the opposition. Are you gonna, do you Absolutely, understand? Yeah. That's why what you have seen today, that's why I said I'm happy because democracy is beginning to endure. They, they, so for you, there's no anomaly. No, no, in, there's in, no anomaly. In the manner of you. No, what, no. Are, what about the position of the APC national chairman? That's what I'm saying. Who says, look, what, what we agreed <laughs> or what they, they considered in their consultation yes. was not what played out. Because they, they are living in the past. <laughs> it's no more about APC now. These are senators. These are members of the House of Representatives. So they determine it's by themselves. It's within them to decide and determine what happened, who our leader should be. Yes, party can advise. Party can advise. But Your role what, will be advised. What happens then? Yes. What, what, the, what goes on when uh, yes. the party leadership and advises? Or, uh, well, when I say party it's leadership not now. If party this, uh, advises you. Uh, look, and let, they, go, they go against no, the party's no, but decision. Let me give you an example in 2019 too. Mm -hmm. You forgot this same chinda. Yeah. This same chinda. PDP then, who was the party in, in majority in opposition, wrote a letter to the, to the, to the speaker specifying their nominees. I did not see the day, the, the, I didn't see the light of day because the party, the, the, the state, the, sorry, the House of uh, Reps on its own, the leadership in collaboration with the 
minority then, mm. elected their leaders. And that what was happened. The, the House upheld that nomination and rejected that, that, that of PDP. Z because Zanador. the minority is not just made up yeah. of PDP. PDP is a majority mm. in minority. That's if you look at, I don't know what happened in the House, but if you look at um, in the Senate, you see that out of the four positions, PDP had two. Mm -hmm. I think Labour had one, then um, and then PP had one. Because they are looking for harmony yeah. for the smooth Sen running of the... Senator, of, of let me the, ask of, you, yes. what do you think could have been playing uh, in the background? Yes. You add uh, the, the names of the likes of Amino Tambuwal, uh, yeah. former Speaker of the House, yeah. two-term governor, who yeah. is back in the, um, in the National Assembly yeah. as a senator this time around, yeah. uh, who had uh, been tipped for the Senate Minority Leader. Yeah. You are the likes of Senator Abamoro, yeah. and a few other big wigs within yes. the PDP yes. that are being tipped. But yeah. you see the emergence of Senator Simon Davor. I mean, yeah. you probably will know him because he, he was, was in, in the, the House. house. Yes. So, yes. in fact, most of the people in the minority yeah. were former House members yes. who are now the in senators. the Senate. Yes. So you, you imagine that they may not as they may not be as influential yes. as it could be, but there are those who believe that they belong to uh, the G5 caucus. Same with Honorable Chinda, for example, yeah. that they belong to the G5 caucus of the PDP. Yeah. And this is what is playing out. What do you think went on, the undercurrent? What we, we, we're not seeing? Uh, other things. Well, first and foremost, I will restrict myself to what I know. <laughs> I don't want to conjecture or guess what I don't know. Like you said, for, don't forget that in the 8th Assembly, I was there as a yeah. senator. Mm -hmm. We had people like manager, James Manager. Yeah. We had people like uh, uh, um, Thompson, them, so many people who are taught for them, mm -hmm. even Abaribe. Abaribe, yeah. But Ababio, who was a fat timer, yeah. emerged as a minority leader. <laughs> and a lot of people fought it. Yeah, definitely. There were the strong opposition against there, there will always be. Because there must be one reason or the other. Personally, at that time, who felt it was a misnomer. Do you understand? But fortunately, James' manager, because it has already been zoned to the South-South, who should have been the right person to step in... Uh, in uh, into that uh, role. ...role, uh, decided to back out and supported uh, Ababio. Ababio. So what can you say about it? Not to talk of this one now, you have all of them. They are all members of the National Assembly. I've not seen any first-timer. If you come to the, to the, if you are talking about the minority, uh, the, uh, Simon is um, the, he had been a member of the House of yes. Reps, I think a two-time member. Yes, he was in. Uh, oh, yeah, from Oshun. Oshun. Oh, he had been there. Honorable Hanga. Yes. Uh, uh, Hanga, Hanga yeah. was a senator. He's no, been, Hanga yeah. was a senator. senator yeah. uh, right. uh, uh, Wokocha, my, yeah. small, my younger brother, yeah. was in the House, mm -hmm. was in the State Assembly first, mm -hmm. two term, then came to the House of Reps. Two ten, the nice senator. So they are qualified. Don't also forget that. Complicated their ranking. So that ranking, mm -hmm. that what gave them that opportunity, also was what gave uh, uh, Yari the opportunity to run mm -hmm. because Yari was not a senator. Yari was coming from the house. Mm -hmm. If you remember, on the day of the inauguration, some people raised this as a point of uh, order. Yeah. Senator Bamdele actually beautiful. was the one who objected. Yes, the guy. The, uh, what is his name? Um, um, the guy from Adamawa, uh, sir, Abba, Abba uh, uh, Abu, Abu, raised it. Abu opposed it. Yeah. That no. And at the end of the day, they say, look, we are all members of the National uh, Assembly. Assembly. Whether you are coming from the House or the Senate, it's almost the same principle. Mm -hmm. uh, rules, whatever, the modus operandi, the same. So they allowed that, they upheld it, and the election went on. So if you look at it today, all those that emerged, in the leadership for me are people I think I can beat my chest and say you see they have a good record. The, the only man you can talk about mm. who is like, a, if you call him a rookie, is maybe the man representing my dad is Umahe. Mm. But he was a former governor yeah. to that extent and he's a deputy leader. Yeah. He has a leader, he mm. only comes. And if you talk in terms of performance, definitely, if you want to use performance, you can agree with me as well. The fact he was from a different party, mm. Omar in Southeast performed beyond most of his uh, yes. colleagues in mm. in in, 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 in Nabiano. Go and see what he did. In a, he turned uh, um, 
he turned the boy to what uh, uncommon uh, senior president today turned the uh, aqua bomb to. So for me, I do you, think do you just see, and the party, yeah. I think the party should go back. And, 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 and re-strategize <laughs> and, 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 and do a and consultation. Quickly, yeah. And quickly, quickly, yeah. before it's Do you late. see a possible reverser? No, 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 no. Reverser how? You don't see? If, if the party you, insists. No, no, the, it will be difficult. Mm. Because the only thing you can reverse is what the Senate took on its own. And you have to come through a motion. For you to reverse any decision. Because this also came through a motion, isn't it? That is it. Because it's a decision of the, of the Senate of the National Assembly. And for you and to reverse it, it has to be through a motion. And that motion first must be a, 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 a upheld before you now do whatever you want to do. So it's no more about party. It's no more about party. Party issues. It's no more about party leadership. I mean, as per the mm -hmm. National Working Committee of any party. It's about the members of the Senate or members of the uh, um, House of uh, Reps. And like I said, look at the leader of the, of the Senate. Obeyemi had been there. He was in the House. He's, in the, he's, he's been in the Senate. I mean, I think, for me, I'm excited, really, to be honest to you. Obeyemi is I'm one, perhaps one, or he, he's Look at Ndume. Man. Look at yeah. Ali. Ndume is like he's a, been a an former indigen. leader. Yeah. He's almost like an indigen. <laughs> he was also a, 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 a when we were in the House, yeah. he was also an APP, APP leader. Member. Leader. Yes. Yeah. Leader in the, in the, in the, right. in the, in the yeah. House. Mm -hmm. Before he came Into in the Senate, Senate. Yeah. became a leader. He was removed Moved, yeah. before Lawan came. Yeah. And you can see that there is a sequence. There is a follow-up. And also... Let me tell you, you know, when some people came up, they were talking about the zoning. The only thing I know, and which is right, and they keep, is the principle of, uh, of, uh, of, um, principle of uh, federal character. Mm -hmm. Because there are six geopolitical zones in this country today recognized. And that's the, the modus, the, the, the parameter we use in sharing political uh, offices. And the same thing we use in the National Assembly. And if you look today, you can, whether in the Senate or in the House, all the, all the geopolitical zones are, uh, you know, they are, one, each of the political parties holding one position or, or the other. They are all covered. So for me, there is nothing wrong. I think, like I said, it's a day of excitement for me. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Uh, so you look at it again, there seems to be some spread. And a lot of people will argue. Yes. Uh, about this issue of federal character, we think it's a conventional thing. It is not. It's actually constitutional. Yes. Section 14.3 of the Constitution oh. stipulates and mm. stated it clearly Character. that the composition of the government of the Federation, yes. it means that the government at the center mm -hmm. or any of its agencies and the conduct of its affairs shall be carried out in such a manner as to reflect the federal character of Nigeria mm -hmm. and the need to promote national unity. So for those who always think that we could experiment or we could tinker with uh, uh, the concept of federal character mm -hmm. are probably getting it wrong. It is enshrined in our constitution. But let me let, let you uh, look at the spread and how even or balanced it could yes. be. Yes. So you look at Augusto uh, Apabio, South South. Yes, yes. You look at uh, his uh, deputy, Barrow, uh, Senator Barrow, Northwest. Yes. Senator Barrow, Northwest. Yes. Senator Southwest. Southwest. Deputy leader. Uh, Senate deputy leader, South East. Um, uh, the deputy minor, uh, the deputy uh, major. I mean, the, the chief whip rather, yeah, yeah. Senator Alindume, not East, yes. and Senator Lalajuru, uh, not Central. Not Central. So you can see that is is balanced. Actually, part of the problem we had in the last government is non-respect to to federal character. You know, at a point it was looked as government of nepotism, where if you appoint people from one zone from one state, I mean, it's, uh, it's unacceptable. And that is what has created the dichotomy we have today. Mm. You, can, you can agree with me that prior to, to, to 2015, we didn't have this uh, hula bala about uh, religion and uh, ethnicity. But because it was pronounced in the last government, mm -hmm. and that's what we're still about to cure. You remember, mm -hmm. you remember mm -hmm. that part of the reason why most people said no to Yare, yeah. in as much as personally, as a legislator, and who, that he's not, I say we do apologies. <laughs> I mean, if we want to bring in, you remember the last I was here, I told you about character, yes. I told you about competence. Mm -hmm. Those are key. And when you bring a senior president, senior president is a third man, in the order of protocol yeah, in the country. Yeah. And he's going, to, he's going to be the face 
of, of, of Nigeria, yeah. no, Nigeria first, mm -hmm. and the National Assembly in international uh, fora. Yeah. So he's going to represent, so you must do somebody that you see him, you'll be proud. Like I tell people, I say, look, like a Babi will hate him. You see that he's competent. He will bring his sagacity and his uncommon uh, <laughs> knowledge to, right. bear, to bear. Let, let, let's, let, let's wrap up uh, on this. The people of Nigeria are facing uh, some difficult times at uh, difficult times at the moment. Uh, there are initial policies of the federal government is causing a, a few. Um, uh, discomfort, yes. uh, economy, and all what have you, and uh, any kind of soccer or any kind of uh, activity to alleviate their suffering will be appreciated. Yes. We'll be seeing as a good gesture. Yes. Uh, this National Assembly, Nigerians have been very critical of the National Assembly. In fact, uh, a lot of perception out there is that they just go there, do nothing, get a lot of Nigeria's money. The duty and the major obligation of the lawmakers is to make laws yes. to impact possibly the likes of Nigerians. Yes. What do you think they should be uh, uh, considering now? Now they are going to be settling in. Uh, if you were in their shoes right now, yes. what do you think? Because Nigerians are a bit impatient yes. about their leaders. Yes. First and foremost, let me correct the perception about people feeling. maybe. The last assembly, people tagged uh, Christian a rubber stamp. Rubber stamp. stamp. Mm. When we came in in 1999, uh, Shen, you can bear me out mm -hmm. that the House of Reps particularly held this country and we made sure that we made laws, we stood for the interests of Nigeria. It's on record, even up to 2027 and thereafter. Now, also, in 2015, 2019, you saw that we were really a check to the executive, which is what it should be. That's why when people say, no, there is nothing wrong in the executive and the legislature working together. Mm. Your functions are supposed to be complementary, but that does not mean you should be a rubber stamp because you have the power, the responsibility to check the excesses of the Executive, because you have the power of the purse. You, the budget comes to you, mm -hmm. you allocate funds. Yeah. And what I have said, and I continue to say, and also from experience, I've asked my colleagues, especially those who are presently there now, let's take our oversight responsibility seriously. Let's no more take it as job for the boys. boys. I'm talking from experience. Mm -hmm. When we go for oversight, and that's why I see it's unfortunate. It's a time when you talk about the chicken and the egg, which one? First, you see, presidential system of governance is an expensive system. It's Wrong. different from uh, what parliamentary. parliamentary system. You must fund the committees. And if you want the committees to be effective and do their work right, you must fund them because they need to employ consultants who will definitely move into those agencies, ministries, and check out what they are doing so that you don't just depend mm. on what the minister... And I hope it won't be, rub my back, rub, rub, rub That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what If you is, don't, I mean, if you're not well endowed, if you are not knowledgeable, it will become rub your back mm. or you'll just come mm. uh, settle the boy waiting there under the table. table. No, 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 no. We should stop that. Oversight function is the key. While the parliament takes that responsibility right. seriously, mm -hmm. you see that things will change. All Just right. like you are saying, Nigerians are suffering. Yeah. They are suffering, but we know that this stuff for the, this is, should be a short-term thing because we need to remove this subsidy. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that I'm PDP. Yeah. I'm like, we had wanted to do this earlier, mm -hmm. but people said no. But thank God that it has come at this time. And we know. All you right. can see that we have a little bit shock absorber. Mm -hmm. But our patience should not be taken right. for granted. So yeah. I know that once they begin to bring in the palliatives and ways, yeah. it must come through appropriation. Yeah. Let the Senate appropriate and follow up and make sure that that purpose, the intentment of that parliament mm -hmm. palliative, get to, uh, the people. get to the people. Senate, and once Senator, we do that, yeah. you see Nigeria will be a better place for all of us. Senator Mao, one of the, I will say, for the fourth uh, <laughs> uh, uh, republic, one of the experienced lawmakers, Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate your time Thank tonight. You. Thank you. My pleasure. It.